The Daily Beast did the most laughable, absurd piece on Casey DeSantis. I've, I've read in recent memory. I can't remember a more absurd hit piece that just checked every box of what the left thinks of Republican women. It's amazing. I recommend it just because I think people will enjoy it, like for, you know, hate reading purposes. The headline is, Casey DeSantis is the Walmart Melania. All right, so let's bring Walmart into it. Let's rip on those poor, fat, middle Americans who shop at Walmart. We know that's how they feel, right? That's how the left feels. Um, So she's not even like a good Melania. She's like a disgusting, lame Melania is the Daily Beast suggestion. The First Lady of Florida, I've got to read you some of these excerpts. First Lady of Florida showed up on the campaign trail in Iowa this weekend wearing a ghastly black leather jacket, American flag on the front, an alligator and the silhouette of her state on the back with the sneering words, where woke goes to die. That brought to mind nothing so much as the racks of a red state big bin store where it would be retailing for $24.99. <laughs> Not like the Bergdorf Goodman where I shop, you losers. That's me writing in between the lines. Um, goes on to say, it reminds the writer of Melania's coat. I really don't care that she wore when she went down to the border crisis situation. The messes on Melania's coat, like the one-time model herself, was sphinx-like. And then she talks about the speculation about what that jacket meant. Did it mean nothing at all? Like her spokesman insisted, maybe like Melania herself, a cipher whose eyes seem to betray an inner emptiness. <laughs> By contrast, Casey DeSantis's coat is just like her husband Ron DeSantis's campaign. Crude, grasping, saying the ugly part out loud. DeSantis's Florida is where the woke go to die, and a lot of other people die as well. DeSantis had one of the highest COVID death rates, no mention of the fact that Florida is full of old people who were affected by COVID more than any other. She brings up the horrific Pulse nightclub mass shooting in Orlando, which was, go, go read Glenn Greenwald on the Pulse nightclub and the Islamic extremists and the motivation there. Okay, but I guess that's DeSantis's fault. Um, their shameful history of Jim Crow era lynch mobs. Hello, refer to my history lesson. Um, but of course, DeSantis and his cronies want to pervert kids from learning about any of that, any of the history in Florida, by censoring their library books and AP curricula. All lies, all lies. They're teaching history in Florida. The AP um, African-American history course that he didn't what like promoted Kendi, D'Angelo and the likes. And once they took that stuff out, he said, I'm totally in favor of it. The jacket then is a warning. Watch out, America. All right, I got to keep going. And then I'm going to give you the floor, I promise. It's just so good. Um, The DeSantis's will never be Camelot. Jackie and JFK symbolized the opposite of vulgar pettiness. They embodied youth, energy, a commitment to moral progress and the struggle for civil rights. Sure, they were totally moral. I'm sure Kennedy's record with his wife would just stack up really nicely against DeSantis's with his. The DeSantis's are more like posers, fake Birkins, Mar-a-Lago imitators. She says... We've got a sunshine state Lady Macbeth in her green cape and white gloves with her middling husband and her thirst for the crown. And we've got a guy who wants to be sitting in a corner mumbling about the Federalist Papers and gobbling pudding off his fingers. Trump is the danger of raw, chaotic id. DeSantis, meanwhile, is the little jerk. He's going to make all of us pay for how he had no friends in third grade. Oh my God, Jesse. Oh my God! Like I said, clicks all the boxes, checks all of them. Well, it's it, this is how they treat all the GOP first ladies, and it, it it just goes to show you once again they never mean anything that they say. They lie about everything they care about. They don't care about the climate. They don't care about women. They don't care about black people. They care about communism. And the second you you can tell this because the second a Republican one steps up. She gets smeared. I'd love to hear the, all the things they've said to you over the years and things they've emailed to you over the years, Megan. I remember all the things they say said about Melania. I, I've seen the things they say about Congresswomen like Boebert or any female Republican senator. The second you come out against the cause, you become Walmart Melania. You become some worthless piece of trash who offended God himself, some heretic. And that's how they treat everybody. But again... I think the real, the the person who's failed the most in all this, Megan, has been the right, has been us. I, look, I'll point fingers at myself. 
always, we've watched these people do this forever. And we've always assumed that we could just, you know, we could do enough to earn their approval or do enough to, to kind of calm things down. Maybe if I'm more pro-women, then they won't act like that I'm the Antichrist. Maybe if, I, maybe if I run enough black candidates that they'll finally accept that I'm not a racist. And we haven't accepted yet that those days will never come. Because again, if the communist reaches his destination, then he has to stop. So there's never a destination. It is destruction without end. The se- Casey DeSantis is wonderful. She's a beautiful young mother. Uh, they appear to be, I don't know them, but they appear to be a loving couple. So whether you're a DeSantis fan or not, they appear to be wonderful. That's something to admire in this country. But the thing is, she's on the wrong side of the whole communist mm-hmm. agenda. So you have to belittle her, make fun of her clothes. I bet you that was a woman who wrote that article, though, Megan, because you yeah, women are terrible to, to each other when it comes to fashion. Terrible to each other. Oh, I'll, I'll, let me go on on fashion. I, it reminds me of the line, by the way, um, from Pride and Prejudice. Um, I have no wish for their good approval. I have no wish for his good approval. And that's exactly how I feel about the left and how what, what you're saying. There's no point in trying to seek it. It's not available to you, no matter how good you try to be under their standards. Listen to this. Of course, neither Melania Trump nor Casey DeSantis, you're not going to believe this, could ever embody the class and effortless elegance of Michelle Obama or Dr. <laughs> Jill Biden. <laughs> yes, yes. Listen, stand by. Those first ladies have used fashion not as a punitive tool to stick it to political enemies, nor as a bored nihilistic shrug, but as something generous and welcoming. Think the pure sweetness of Michelle's Jason Wu floral gown for the Obama's first inaugural, or Jill's pastel blue coat that echoed the colors of Ukraine's flag when Zelensky visited the White House. (laughs) Literally, she says, neither Melania nor Casey DeSantis could ever embody the class and effortless elegance of Michelle or Dr. Jill. Now, first of all, Dr. Jill's Biden, Dr. Jill Biden's fashion has been the subject of much criticism all over Twitter. This woman is not exactly the the next um, Cindy Crawford, okay? I'm sorry, but look at this. (laughs) She's got the sneakers with the yellow and green flower dress. And I don't know what's happening on the shoulder there, but the left and the right have had a lot of fun at Jill Biden's expense, thanks to her fashion choices. So to talk about them like it is effortless elegance wherever she goes is ridiculous. As for the class that she and Michelle so effortlessly embody, I don't remember Casey DeSantis or Melania Trump ever calling Latinos little burritos in a national speech. I don't remember either one of them bashing America as racist. Michelle Obama, first time in my adult life I'm ever proud of my country. I didn't wear my hair naturally because I wasn't, I didn't think America could handle natural black hair. Made up stories about being subjected to racism when she went into various uh, Walmart or Kmart, I can't remember the name of the brand store, um, that she was allegedly subjected to when she was speaking to a black audience, then laughed about it as a non-racist incident when she was on one of the late night shows. I, is that classy, really? To, to be in a country that helps you become first lady, not to mention a successful lawyer beforehand, to be married to the president of the United States, who's also a black person, and to use your big platform to bash the country as still just as racist. That's class. That, Jesse, is class. Did you know that there is one phase of sleep that almost everyone fails to get enough of? And this one phase of sleep is responsible for most of your body's daily rejuvenation, repair, controlling hunger, and weight loss hormones, not to mention boosting energy. I am talking about deep sleep. Why don't most people get enough of this one most important phase of sleep? A big reason is magnesium deficiency. It's real. And over 80% of the population is deficient in magnesium. Now, before you go out and buy some rando magnesium supplement, it is important to understand that most products out there only have one to two forms of magnesium, when the reality is your body needs all seven forms of this essential sleep mineral. That is where magnesium breakthrough comes in. Magnesium Breakthrough contains all seven forms of magnesium designed to help calm your mind, help you fall asleep, stay asleep, that's tough, and wake up feeling refreshed. Visit magbreakthrough.com slash Megan Kelly to order now. magbreakthrough.com slash Megan Kelly. In addition to the discount uh, that you get by using the promo code Megan10, there are always amazing gifts with purchase. You're going to love shopping at Buy Optimizers. Go now to magbreakthrough.com slash Megan Kelly to get your magnesium breakthrough and find out this month's gift with purchase. 
Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.